Is there a simple method to calculate the space requirements of factories? We explain this in two videos. In the first video we consider a method for calculating the floor space of the production area. Then in the second video we calculate the floor space of the entire facility. Now let's start with the first step, the calculation of the production area. So how does it work? We determine the floor space requirements based on the workplaces each with its bounding box. What does it mean? The bounding box is the smallest area of an object within which the outline lies. The bounding box results from the smallest possible rectangle that completely encloses an object. The advantage is that the maximum width and the maximum length of an object can be determined easily. In addition to the mere footprint of an object, we need freedom to move within our workplaces. These are areas for accessibility and maintenance and for operation. Proven empirical values from mechanical workshops are 1 meter on the operating side and 0.4 meter for accessibility on the remaining sides. As a result, we get the floor space of the workstation. Next, we still need areas for supply and disposal or support of the main process. These include the areas for the temporary storage of material and parts, the areas for transport and finally additional areas. For this we use supplements based on experience. For example, for a mechanical workshop of small and medium-sized companies we add 40% of the workstation area to accommodate for temporary storage, 40% for transportation and additional 20% for various tasks. Maybe these surcharges do not fit so well for your type of production, you can also use your very own values. We sum up this calculation for each workstation and get the required footprint of the production area. You'll find more information about the dimensioning of the floor space in the video description. Now let's look at a tangible example. That's you and your task is to calculate the floor space for your new manufacturing facility. In this video, we focus on the footprint of the production area. So, what do we need for this? We need a list of our machines and workstations with the dimensions, and a tool for the calculation. In the first step we determine the width and the length of the bounding box for each object. In our example, this is very easy to do because the objects can be retrieved from our planning software. An equipment list contains the necessary dimensions. Spreadsheet software is suitable for the calculation, we use Microsoft Excel. We export the equipment list to an Excel spreadsheet. Now that we have the width and length of the bounding box of our machines and workstations in the spreadsheet, the next step is to calculate the supplements for accessibility, maintenance and operation. To the width we add 0.8 meter, to the length 1.4 meter. The surcharges are to be considered as a minimum and can be chosen even higher. We repeat this for all objects and thus get the sum of the floor spaces of the workstations. In the last step, we add the area required for supply, disposal and support of the main process. That's a piece of cake. We use the previously mentioned surcharges well known for mechanical workshops of small and medium-sized enterprises. Perhaps you can estimate these surcharges yourself for your type of production. We add 40% of the total workspace area for temporary storage, 40% for transportation, and 20% for miscellaneous. Simply put, we double the workstation area, thereby obtaining the footprint of the production area. We can now use the floor space of the production area to plan the layout. Layout planning on dimensioned areas is faster and usually leads to better results. It saves time and money. So, please try it out. In the second video we will show you how to calculate the area for the whole building based on the production area. You should also watch this.